Joy's not here yet, Fear. I know. I'm just practicing. That was really good, Fear. I think you did great. Woohoo! Bumper cars, here we go! Wow! Envy, you're testing my patience. Woo! Uh, Woohoo! Envy? Sorry, I just got a little carried away. Well, that's just great. Except one problem. No birthday app. Uh, no, no. Here comes the birthday girl! And your noble steed. Lance, hi! Wow, guys! Just wow! Wow, you guys really outdid yourselves! It's amazing! Uh, whose birthday is it? It's your birthday, silly! We planned everything out! Yeah, and we've even got bumper cars! Just my kind of sport! Oh, wait! Bumper cars? You can get hurt! Yeah, that's just great and all, but uh, I was gonna say one thing. Where's the birthday cake? Oh no! I've planned everything and I forgot about the birthday cake! You can't have a birthday party without a birthday cake! Big no-no. Who's the birthday girl? Hey, it's Bluffy! Can somebody say birthday cake? Hmm. Don't rub it in, Bluffy. Don't rub it in. Well, you know what we can do when we're missing a birthday cake? No, Bluffy, what is it? We can call Pouchy! Oh, Pouchy! Oh, that was good. That was a good one. Oh, this is so sad. Joy's birthday has no birthday cake. Ah. Hello, everyone. We need to make Joy a birthday cake. And we need to make it fast because the birthday party is happening right now. Good thing we've got a bake shop inside of a little box. It's Tasty Tiny's Bake Shop. We get to make her a whole bunch of cake. Looks like this one's a vanilla cake mix with rainbow pop sprinkles and chocolate frosting. Yummy. But what if Joy doesn't like chocolate? Well, in that case, we've got a strawberry cake mix. And if she doesn't like strawberry, we've got a vanilla cake mix with vanilla frosting. We've got a lot of birthday cake to make, so let's get right to it. I think first, let's make this cute little heart-shaped cake. Two real mini cakes. Just add water. Ooh, we get two of these? And they're real cake, so we can eat them with our Inside Out friends. Ooh, look at all of our little things inside. You guys ready to bake some cake? First, we're getting some cake inside the mixing bowl. So let's get this inside. We're gonna put the whole thing in here. Now we're gonna take our tiny little measuring cup and we're gonna fill it up with water up to that top line. And into the bowl it goes. It's easy peasy lemony squeezy. Mixy wixy. Okay, now the fun part. We get to dunk all of this into our cake mold. Let's help it out a little bit with our spatula. Now we're going to place our cake mold into our mini oven. Whoa, make sure not to let any of it spill over. And this part requires adult supervision. So be sure to get the help of a parent because we're going to be placing this into a microwave for 25 seconds. It's spilling over. And we're back. Here's our little cake out of the microwave. It did explode just a little bit, but I think we still have a pretty decent cake. Ooh, oh, it's very hot. This part needs you to be really, really careful. But it's a lopsided heart because this part exploded. But nonetheless, it's still cooked after 25 seconds. And it smells very strawberry. Now we're going to let the cake cool before we remove it from inside the mold. While we're waiting for that to cool off, let's make the frosting. So let's get a good amount of frosting in here. Let's see if it's half of the bag. I think that should be good for one cake, I believe. Maybe just a little bit more. So we have enough for the other cake. And now we're gonna put water filled inside of our little cup to the bottom line, the smaller one, and get that in here. And you got it, we're mixing again. Let's go ahead and mix this all up. All right, now we can take the cake out of the mold. It is cool enough. Let's flip it this way. It's a silicone mold, so it should be pretty easy. Doopy doop. Oh, well, that's not bad. We've got some lumps and bumps everywhere. First, we have to take our piping bag and get our little tip inside. That goes all the way to the bottom. This will help us give 
our cake frosting, some really cool designs. And then we're gonna get the frosting inside the bag, just like that. Make sure we got all of it out. Oh no, the frosting's dripping everywhere. Let's go ahead and try to get some frosting on here. The frosting is really runny. I'm not sure it's going to hold any type of design, even with the piping tip. So we're gonna have a little blobby cake. We can maybe give it like a drippy design. Ooh, cool. It's a sprinkle party. Whoa, that's a lot of sprinkles. Woo. And here's our first lovely blobby design. Wow, the strawberry cake looks amazing. Yeah, I don't like strawberry too much. It's cute, but strawberry's gross. We should try chocolate. Chocolate sounds good to me. We have lots of chocolate options. Chocolate on chocolate, chocolate vanilla, another chocolate on chocolate, and another chocolate on chocolate. Only difference is the shape. We'll do this round one and this round one. First step up is getting the cake mix into the mixing bowl. Here's the next one, smells very chocolatey. Then we'll add the water and that's filled to the top line. Then we'll just mix. And now we microwave them for 25 seconds. Here's our cakes ready and baked. And they've already cooled off, so let's flip them onto their little placemats. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's a little misshapen, but I think it turned out pretty okay. Now how about the round one? Let's see how this one turned out. Oh, it's looking a little rough, but that's okay. Now let's get our frosting on here. So I've got the sprinkles now for the cake with the round mold. Let's get some on here. And for this cake, we've got some unicorn colors. We have purple, light pink, white, and blue sprinkles. We've got star shapes and heart shapes. Very cute sprinkles on this pack. All right, Joy, so we've got one, two chocolate cakes for you. That's a lot of birthday cakes. Next, we're making some vanilla cake. This time, let's try doing a double layer cake. Get the mix into our mold. And we'll also make this vanilla chocolate cake. The double layer effect you can see they are doing here. And that is pretty easy if we can get it to actually work for us. Something wrong here. Now we've got our blobs covered in frosting. Let's sprinkle them up. These are the same sprinkles as the first chocolate cake. Now for our unicorn cake, we've got some cutesy colored pastel sprinkles and they're going everywhere. They're just going everywhere. I'll tell you what, let's just do one more of these pink cakes and we'll call it a birthday party. That's way too many cakes. How are they gonna finish it all? Here it is, I've demolded it. I think it's the best cake by far. And how I got it to come out a little better than the others was I put a little dab of cooking oil on the inside so it doesn't stick so bad. So this frosting is a little thicker and you can see that we can see the design on the tip a little better. I just added a little less water. Then I'm gonna use the spatula to spread all of it and maybe I'll go back in and make a design on the top of it again because we kinda lost it. Never mind, our designs still melt away. Boo! Final steps is the sprinkles. That'll make it pretty. And it's ready. Kinda looks blobby, just like the rest, but I'm sure it'll taste good. Whoa, 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 look at all those cakes. All right, here we go with the vanilla cake. Let's cut out a tiny slice and give it a taste test. Here it goes, cute, cute, tiny little cake slice. Let's give it a taste test. That actually tastes good. 
Ooh, those cakes are tasty. You know, for little microwave cakes, these taste amazing. Let's try some chocolate. This was our heart-shaped cake. Ooh, and it was our vanilla one. We did a double layer on this one. Let's see how that turned out. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Look, you can see on the inside, we've got some of the chocolate right in the center. Here is our slice. Let's give the chocolate and vanilla a taste test. Yum, that even tastes good. That tastes so chocolatey. It tastes just like a cake from the store, but maybe even better. It has a little bit of a like a saltiness too. So it's sweet and a tiny bit salty, which is a good balance. Look how cute that slice came out. Baby's gonna try it. Here's Lance Slash Blade Slice. Oh, yum, tastes delightful. Aw, I want a slice. Here you go, Envy. Oh, so tasty. Okay, so I think I wanna try some of that strawberry. That looks so yummy. Let's give a slice of this strawberry cake for Joy, the birthday girl. Look at that tiny little slice. This one came out really nice. Here you go, Joy. Whoa, that cake is out of this world. Well, that's the end of our show. All of the emotions are going to try out all of Joy's birthday cakes. Thank you so much for making birthday cakes for Joy with me. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.